Hallelujah. Let us turn to the Word of God. To the book of 1 Chronicles, chapter number 4. <coughs> to the book of 1 Chronicles, chapter number 4. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> Reading from verse number 9 this morning. Praise God. Reading from verse number 9. <laughs> Jabez was more honorable than his brothers, and his mother named him Jabez. Because I bore him with pain. Now Jabez called on the God of Israel saying, Oh, that you would bless me indeed and enlarge my border and that your hand might be with me and that you would keep me from harm that it may not grieve me or pain me. And, grant, and God granted him what he requested. Praise the Lord. Uh, yesterday night, I briefly gave you an introduction on the genealogy of uh, the sons of David and all the children of Israel that uh, you see in the text. Uh, and uh, the particular, the reason why genealogy is mentioned. If you were not here yesterday, you can listen to that in YouTube. And I uh, urge you to go and listen to that in the YouTube. And one reason we have this on video is, uh, you know, for people we know who are missing the church and, uh, you know, the, and the services in between, uh, you know, this is part of our ministry. So uh, please go back and listen to those, um, those sermons that we have already preached and you have missed, uh, you know, uh, so this morning. And uh, that is why we have this here. And I was going through the YouTube the other day and I saw, you know, Joby's testimony. How many hits? 246 people have already seen no, that? It's more than 1,000. What? It's more than 1,000. Joby's testimony, 1,000 people? Yes. Oh, might be then I misread that. All right. See that? Hi. Children of God, you don't know what's the influence. Amen. Praise God. A media might have. Let's not take it for granted, but let's pray to God that, you know, Somebody will see that and somebody will be touched by that. Amen. Not that we want to broadcast, you know, bring fame or anything like that, but it's just that uh, somebody will be blessed. Amen. Hallelujah. That's why God has called us to be a blessing for others. Amen. Praise the Lord. And yesterday I said about that uh, genealogy of the uh, children of Israel and I said, while writing that genealogy, there was a particular person uh, who stood up from the crowd. Praise God. Out of all those people, there was somebody that God said, you know what? I need to mention a little more, describe this person a little more than others. Praise the Lord. Now, as a matter of fact, if you were living in those days, uh, the name Jabez was not a very popular name. Amen. In fact, that name really meant pain. Pain. P-A-I-N. And, um, you know, we might sometimes think, of course, every child that is born, uh, you know, there is pain in the labor. But this is not speaking about the pain, labor pain. This is not speaking about the pain that the mother had to endure for that moment because if it was just a birth pain you know the moment the babe was born there would be gladness there would be joy you know there are certain situations mentioned in the bible where for example benjamin when he was born he was named benoni because the mother was dying during that birth of benjamin so they named him as Benjamin, but his father, Benoni, and named him as Benjamin later on. Benjamin. So he became from a painful birth to a wolf that tears and eats and grabs its prey. All right, so that's the kind of message a name had in those days. Now. You put yourself in that same shoes today and then you stand with Jabez and 
And uh, think for a moment, yeah, when you went to school, people called you pain. Now, uh, some people are a pain. Um, you know, there are a lot of people, in, even in workplace, that are a pain to us. You might have some folks in your school that's a pain, but that's not their name. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? That's, that's not how you want to call them. And if you call them by that name, you know, you are going to have some pain, endure some pain. Uh, you will be beaten up in short, all right? So what I'm trying to say is, even though we all go through pain at certain times, uh, none of us like to be called by that name. Neither first nor the last name. Praise God. So imagine Jabez walking through the hello, pain, where the name? That's how you should call him. Jabez? Jabez in Hebrew meant pain, which means if he was walking down, there comes the pain. There goes the pain. Oh, the pain is here. How can I avoid the pain? Now, with what can we, you know, make that person change in any way? Awesome, isn't it? Think about, you know, the, the, the situation he was in. Some of us grieve. Some of us go through pain. We all go through pain at times. But for some people, pain is very painful. They cannot tolerate pain. They cannot take pain. Okay? Uh, for others, when they go through pain, they can, they can endure that. They, can suffer. They, will, they will still have that smile. For some people, if they are in pain, don't even bother getting near to them. Don't go close to them. They are danger. You cannot tell them anything. They are so hurt that, you know what, leave them alone. Forget about them. Don't even mention that in the public. And all of a sudden, people get offended. Amen? So that's the kind of situation. I'm trying to draw a picture of Jabez in your heart today. You, want to, you have to picture him in your heart. And then you think about what you're going through this night, this morning. And see if, the, if, if Jabez was able to turn his pain to a gain, you can as well, praise God. And I am very particular about this when I say this, praise God. Because I mentioned about a guy who was leprous. I'm watching you guys. That's why my head is turning around. So I'm, uh, there, was, there was a man, there was a man called Naaman who was a leprous. Remember that story? You can go worse than that. Praise God. Your situation can never go worse than that situation. None of us have gone through that situation. Praise God. But if then in that situation they were able to spread the good news. If they were able to go and tell other people there is good news in the camp. Praise God. You and I can even more, even now, through everything that you say that you're going through, still can go and tell somebody, I have a good news for you. Amen. God is sending a deliverance in my life. God is sending a deliverance in the church. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. But Jabez, when he walks through the street, when he goes to the school, he was a pain. Now, if it was you, I would say, you know what, if it was me, I would say, okay, let me change my name. But my mother, she was a little illiterate. She was a little ignorant. You know, she was a little rude when she said, Oh, yes, the pain. You know what I mean? So, why don't I just turn my name and put something else? Let me put my name, Isaac. Laughter. Oh, I, I want to be known as Isaac now. My mama made a mistake, so I'm going to change it all. But here, listen, children of God. He did not even attempt to change his situation. He didn't attempt 
to change his circumstance. He didn't attempt to change what other people thought about him. Praise God. On the other hand, Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He did something that brought him honor in his life. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And the honor was not in what Jabez was, but in what Jabez did. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. You know what he did? And the only thing that was to be credited to his account, to be called honorable was, he called upon the name of God. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There were four words and letters that changed his life around. Praise God. He began to pray. Praise the Lord. I will practice you on in the room. He committed himself to pray to the God of his life. Hallelujah. You know why you are still going through pain? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. See, if you and I have a heart, praise God, amen, to seek God, Amen. Praise the Lord. Even in your most dire situation. Praise the Lord. We don't have to mumble around. We don't have to murmur about it. We don't have to just walk around putting a cloak of sackcloth of grief. That used to be in those days. If somebody was in sorrow, they used to always go on a sackcloth. And nowadays, sometimes when people get... Uh, so too sorrowful they don't even come to the church they are in their own little uh, you know uh, self they want to be on their own be uh, with themselves for uh, for for a while and they think that it's going to go no praise god this morning let me tell you praise god hallelujah what makes you and i honorable to god is not what we are children of god but what we do Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, in the Bible, you can change your situation, children of God. You are going to change things around us. Praise God. Doesn't matter what people think about you. Doesn't matter what people are going to say about you. Praise God. Doesn't matter even what my family thinks about me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But you know what? I am going to be honorable in the presence of God. I told you yesterday, it doesn't mean that Jabez had to look down upon other people who were less honorable than him, praise God. Yes, there are people that are in a church. There might be many people, praise God. So in case God honors you for some reason, Praise God, amen. We should never be lifted up with pride. We shouldn't look down at another brother and say, you know what, I have been blessed. I am walking in the, the, in the blessings of the Lord. So you and I cannot look down upon them, praise God. But still you can be on top of them. <laughs> praise the Lord, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And you know what? I like his prayer. I like the way he prayed. Praise God. Not only what he did, but his intention in the prayer was not focused on him. How many times you heard this? Praise God. He never focused just on him. Praise God. He said, you should bless me indeed. Amen. You understand what I'm saying? Nishiyam ilata Aneja anigra ronda There are many blessings that you cannot say it is a blessing indeed. Adhingyane Madhu kudi da All those blessings I just accumulated with your effort, with your education, with uh, whatever you had in the society you somehow accumulate blessings. And many times, the church of God looks at those kind of blessings and think that they are blessed. 
That is not a blessing, children of God. If you